Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. You guys, I've been like, oh my goodness, this is insane that I possibly have another little mini wish list for the coming up months. So I figured let's, you know, let's make this less selfish about me. I am going to show you my absolute favorite bags that I am completely, utterly over the moon with as of the current fall, winter 2024 season. Uh, first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, first of all, I sound like a cat or something because I had to make myself a little Lust Jumbo medallion. I hope it's, you know, jewelry is really hard to show on camera, but hopefully you can see it a little bit. Um, so there we go. I had to wear it, you know, for a couple of videos because I'm obsessed. And I also made myself a little Jumbo Eden Collection ear cuff. The ear cuffs are, the ear cuffs are really taking over. I'm also gonna do a video on my ins. Maybe not ins and outs, but definitely my ins of 2025. Spoiler alert. Like the cool jumbo ear cuffs. Yes, very selfish, you know, a la Layla Sophia Joy. <laughs> I, think are, I think are really the vibe for 2025 and like maybe life. Anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand because I have been grappling and I know, you know, champagne problems, right? I have been grappling with what new bag I should get. I kind of really thought that I had like a very specific direction. I was gonna go for the next two-ish months, meaning, you know, it's mid, mid the October. I'm thinking Christmas, Black Friday, there's some Thanksgiving Day deals, there's some things happening in the coming up months. And then, you know, my eye just got a little bit distracted. And so there is one big ticket item that I'm really like, okay, should I just go for this one? Or there's a few, not like smaller in any way, but a few like less insane pieces that I just have to share with you guys because first of all PSA I think we all need to consider some of these and also like what kind of crazy person am I that I still feel the need to add some of these pieces but they're just so me anyways we're rambling already I as me you know took it to the row yesterday I do every couple months I don't have to go like that 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 often because I just don't want to be so annoying <laughs> and the last time I went was August. all right it's been two months Insane. The last time I went was right before my mom's birthday because she got the, I'm completely forgetting the name of it, uh, the Blake Hobo. I didn't remember that. I just had to look that up. She got the Blake Hobo. And you know, my beady little eyes, as always, were looking around. And then I just did my whole review of The Row, Winter 2024. And some things have called my name. I went in yesterday thinking maybe they'd have some of the winter 2024 pieces. It kind of takes a little while for them to roll out in store, rightfully so, because duh, you know, let's sell the season that we're currently in. I'm clearly getting ahead of myself too. And I went with my brother because he was in town for like 2.5 seconds. And of course I had to go. He was wearing his Owen sneakers. It was just all meant to be. We went in, saw my favorite, favorite people at the row. And I was like a moth to a flame. One of the times over the summer that I went in, I went in with my butter yellow, the row 90s bag. And I compared it with the 90s round. So that's the first bag because literally I was like a little bit more of a slow burn on the round 90s bag. And now I've just seen it everywhere on the internet. And these people are just so cool. It's so insane to me. Part three is coming up, don't worry, of my like very cool people and their very cool bags <laughs> of the row, which I very much so enjoyed doing. And I put it up against myself and I was wearing my little Laura Piana ostrich extra pocket mini. And I was like, am I a crazy person? Because I already have the brown chocolate brown glove bag, a Chanel chocolate brown camera bag. I'm like, what else? My chocolate brown Abby bag and the Laura Piana chocolate brown. But the row round 90s in the brown is like a deep, like almost black. It's more so fondant, like my Bottega. This is now just sounding insane that I have all these really, you know, silly chocolate brown bags. And I was literally five seconds away from just bringing out my credit card. And my brother was like, 
you're insane. Even like my favorite, favorite, favorite people at the row were like, oh, it sounds like you have a lot of things. <laughs> so that's number one, guys. Do I need to be that crazy? And just because it's something that I would wear, I just wear those bags constantly. Like they're some of my most worn bags in that chocolate brown color, especially since we're going into fall winter or we're already in fall. I can wear like the plethora of camel, different shades of camel coats and chocolate brown coats and just brown beige coats that I have in my wardrobe. And that kind of brown will mix with every single one. Anyways, so there's that. It also I think is a Luisa Villaroma exclusive coming in Sahara. I was really thinking of just going for that one and then I realized it actually won't match with as many of my outfits. So we're, you know, I kind of am leaning towards the chocolate brown. And then one of my, again, I keep saying this, but one of my favorite people was just putting a bag away and I was like, is that the color warm chestnut? Because I have not seen it in person. It's even better than I thought. I saw it in the clutch and I was like, oh my gosh. And then in the Dahlia bag, I was like, okay. So essentially, do I need the half moon in warm chestnut? I'll make that a quicker, quicker question. And just not for me, because I think I'm gonna restrain myself because I have so many of these like really light, cool tone beigey pieces, but if any of you guys have been waiting for the perfect shade of the original 90s bag, I truly think that the French beige is that girl. Like it is such a good color. And I'm telling you the fall winter shades that they always come out with are kind of perfection. And this is not one for now, but clearly, first of all, oh, I just can never thank you enough. So I'm just gonna keep thanking you forever because gratitude, okay? Mary gave me the cutest, cutest little, like not just a shout out, but really like the cutest, what's that called? Like to put it simply comparison between my mom's India bag and she was thinking that I really need the Agnes bag. And I was like, you're absolutely correct. I had put that in my video also, which we probably filmed at like very similar times. And I was like, the Agnes bag is so good. And we know me, it's only coming in black right now, which I don't do black bags. And so honestly, I am just like this mixed with the next one. Should I be saving up? like for a bigger ticket item in early 2025, because that will come out in the spring. So you know, that's like, it's been three, like January, it will be releasing. It's coming. They already showed it in a photo in alligator or crocodile, one of those in a brown. And so I already know, like the Agnes sold out in two seconds on the row website. <laughs> and so I already know they're gonna be bringing, oh, God willing, God willing, they'll bring it out in a brown. And so do I need to be saving up for the Agnes bag in the spring or the bag that I've been talking about? And the only reason I haven't really like, okay, saved up for it and just gone for it, or maybe, who knows, maybe it will be a Christmas situation. But the bag that I've been talking about so much, the Magda Boutra Jumper Brigitte bag, okay? I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. It's not even funny. The suede is currently sold out. And I'm really having a difficult time debating whether to wait for a restock of the suede or do the pony hair because the pony, like I get it. Everybody is telling me they're both so delicate. They're both so delicate. We know me, okay? I love delicate but well-made things. That really, I've never said that that way before, but that kind of describes the row perfectly. That describes Magda Boutram perfectly, but taking it out is much more hard wearing, but like we see the vision, you know? So essentially I'm okay with a bag that's gonna be like tattered and beaten up and really cool. Do I wait for one of those and really decide between either the suede when it comes back in stock or the pony hair? Because when else am I gonna get a pony hair bag? You know, I can get other suede bags. That's kind of my thinking. And the only thing that's stopping me is a thing that I talk about all the time. The only reason I've never gotten a Margot is because the mini bags are working for me currently in my life, even when, God willing, again, one day, as I always say, God willing, when my life expands and I have more, you know, beings to provide for and need more things, and it's not just me and my dog popping around town, when I need bigger bags, I can still stick my mini bags in my bigger bags. That's my girl math on that. And so currently I am like, will I just get that bag and it'll just sit there when the Agnes is like kind of the perfect in between. So that, I don't know, well, that's a really, I'm so confused. I'm a bit confused as to what to do. And we still haven't seen, the bag that I've been talking about so much, we still have not seen the like burgundy shade come out from Magda Boutram, which again, we love the slow consumption, okay? Love the slow rollout for such, from such a queen. Magda Boutram, such a queen. But 
it's not out yet for me to even consider it. So hopefully it's on point. The trapeze Brigitte bag will be releasing in that like yummy wine Bordeaux burgundy color. This is the real PSA section. Are we ready for that? And I hinted at this in my video with Moon and maybe even one other video or definitely on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. There is, there are, because excuse me, there's multiple. Dries put, Dries put his heart and soul into his last collection. I, again, we have to give so many claps today because Dries Van Noten, how, do, ne, I mean, I'm sure there've been so many iconic like last creative director collections that they go out with a bang, I'm sure. But my goodness, just hats off to Dries because what? Like, apparently he still is heavily involved with like the fragrance and beauty side. And I'm, it's his company, you know what I mean? Just because he stepped down as creative director doesn't mean he won't be heavily involved still just with somebody else at the helm. But when I tell you, there are two bags that I'm like, I showed my brother, Dries is my brother's favorite designer for life for all time. I mean, you correct me if I'm wrong, but Dries was like one of the reasons why he got so into this, like high level fashion, men's fashion, the clasp bag that looks like crinkled up, kind of folded, kind of worn. Is this not like completely up my alley, smooth brown leather that I am dying. It also I'm realizing is not just all the things that I just ticked off that are like number one on why I love bags. Smooth leather, things that look worn, things that look like, oh, they just look like they could have been pulled out of your grandma's closet from 1920 or could have been made today. And it's a pouch mixed with a class bag. Me, me in a bottle, okay? That is literally me, me in a bag. To be more specific, I'm obsessing over this bag. Here's my thing of me being cheap because I'm just, be, I, I am out here to be a creator for us, okay? You guys hold me accountable if one day, God willing, again, I'll, this is a very like predicting, hopefully future gratitude <laughs> video, but one day, if I'm out here getting gifted things, hold me accountable, okay? I still wanna be looking for deals because I, I don't think it's feasible to be spending $12,000 a month on crazy amounts of bags. So I'm never going to be that person. I mean, listen, I will just never be that person. So I'm always gonna look for a deal. And here's the thing is that Dries, as much as I think he deserves everything, those bags will probably be in the sale. So do I wait for the, do I wait for the springtime when they're like 1500 or like, you know, $1,000 and get one then, or just go for it now because nobody has it, or at least that I've seen on the tagged photos and it's the most iconic bag ever quickly. There's also a pony hair. I know I just said, when else were you gonna find a pony hair bag? But apparently Dries said, there you go. There's a pony hair square little class bag that I think I don't need, but it's iconic. And I think somebody needs it. The price point, amazing. The quality, amazing. I love my little Dries bag right there, little orange that I've showed several times. So, you know, go back into those videos. I love her. And so Dries, bags, the quality, everything. I got that at a Toto Kayo sale. Like, ugh, those, PSA, PSA. Oh my God, and I'm so glad I just remembered this. It's coming in a baby pink. I don't even wanna talk about it. It's coming in a baby pink because of course I want it. I would never wear it, but one of you, one of you will. Please, somebody get the baby pink for me. Oh my goodness, please. Okay, two new slash current Bottega pieces because first of all, another PSA, like, I, again, even if I was in the tax bracket to be able to be buying these things, probably shouldn't spend the whatever, whatever they're going to be costing. <laughs> but just if you are, if you love to just fill your home with the dopest things of all time, like iconic, it would be so cool on my little cabinet. They're the leather crocheted flowers from Bottega with the, with the leather paper bag. Oh my God, I should do an entire video. It's not even out yet. So I get, so we will be doing an entire video on the new Bottega collection because what the, the, like the things I would do for those little flowers. Anyway, so that's a PSA. Those are so cool. Anybody who buys those and just leaves them in their home or better yet, just carries them like in the place of a bag. Oh my gosh, I'm remembering all these things. This is now gonna be longer than I thought. The Simone Rocha bouquet bag. I simply cannot handle it. I simply cannot handle it. There's the coolest person in the internet who I 
I'm scared to pronounce her name, Matilde, Matilde, something like that. I'm so sorry. You're, I think I'm going to do an entire video on my favorite like influencer creators, but like lesser known people. She is the top of my list. What the actual heck? And I think that video of hers went like slightly viral of the Simone Rocha flower bouquet clutch. I'm beside myself. Let's get back to the actual Bottega bags because do I need, or do some of us need, the Bottega Bang Bang Vanity in light butterscotch? Why is that my shade? And again, exhibit A of me being crazy between, do I need a half moon bag in warm chestnut? Love these names. Or do I need <laughs> the Bottega Bang Bang Vanity in that shade? Because I do need another crossbody bag. Like I really do. My Chanel gets like really sad and I need to you know, let her chill for a couple days. I am mean. I am so mean. I, I destroy that bag. Anyways, I need another crossbody bag to swap in and out. But then as I was looking at the light butterscotch, tell me why, because we know I've been obsessed with the Lauren clutch and I love it. Again, it's not very popular. So I'm being economical and thinking to myself <laughs> in the next year or so, they'll start to go into the pre-loved market for less. And then they made a mini. And it's not even that mini, like it's not like the mini Bottega pouch. It's just a good color. And I'm like, okay, is this the perfect size? Because this is just a crazy video. I'm really seeming insane because I'm like, I want this bag, but really I have one exactly like it. So for one more example of that, my Celine purse clutch. Had to think about that, my Celine clasp pouch clutch I don't know I never know the actual name of that bag but essentially it's the same exact size as the Lauren so I was like all right hold off now there's a mini and it's not even too many so it's like kind of justifiable that is good and we know when Bottega first comes out with styles their colors are very limited so there's no colors for me yet but if that comes out in the light butterscotch I'm sorry that might be perfection one of my favorite creators justified the fact that I have wanted this bag for so long, and I actually, you guys, who you guys know me, I've I talked about multiple times a year ago when it came out, and now they're floating around on the pre-loved market for like much less. I think it's literally like no offense, but it has like a very simple kind of stupid name. It's literally just called the Bottega Netta Tote Bag. Could have been a little bit more imaginative, you know, with that name, but it's okay. Underrated. I was gonna say so many different things, but essentially underrated. Why did nobody care about that bag? And then to bring it back to what I started with, Charlotte Emily Sanders, like all the people that I just talk about, I'm just like, it's just, the, it's just, I'm like, it validates me because I'm like, oh, there are other people who like only dress in all black, like camis and are just like so cool and live in Europe and just like randomly go to really cool, like tiny little French towns and have really amazing lives. And I'm just like, oh my God, you're amazing. She is one of my favorite creators of all time. Little love letter to her right there, but she bought this bag at like, I never know if it's, is it Vista Village or Vista Village? <laughs> The most human moment on my channel ever. Vista? I don't know. But she bought it all at like the outlets and wherever. And I was like, see, I've wanted this thing. So essentially to bring it all full circle, do I need the Magda Boutram, Jumbo Brigitte bag and pony hair and or the Bottega Veneta suede tote bag, quote unquote, because they're perfect. And a tote bag that you could actually really like I don't know if I could personally fit it on my shoulder. I might be too large for that, but carry around in a couple different ways might be, I don't know. I don't know, what's the more practical one, guys? I don't know, but I sure do love looking at it. This is my weird, wonky, crazy list, probably super wildly basic list of bags that I have my eye on that I think some of you might also love as well. And I can't wait to hear your thoughts as always. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys.